Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a word search puzzle using Puzzle Maker by Discovery Education. You can do a web search for Discovery Education or you can go to discoveryeducation.com. This is what the site looks like. You do not need to sign in or have a username. You can if you want to. It will give you more resources. Um, go to the teacher resource page do the drop down menu, scroll to Puzzle Maker, and another menu will open up. Go to Explore Puzzle Maker, and now the Puzzle Maker site will open up. So, Puzzle Maker allows you to make several different puzzles that you can align with whatever your learning target is. So, my learning objective this week is for students to be able to identify the colors that they see in the color wheel. So I'm going to click on a word search and I just want them to become familiar with these words so that's what my word search is going to be about. You can test all different kinds of things, you can use your sight words, you can do whatever it is that you want. So step one would be make a title of your word search. So since I'm having them label colors I'm just going to label this color words. Step two is the size of your puzzle. How many letters across? How many letters down? Again, it's something you can differentiate. I'm going to do 10 because my students are really young. They're in kindergarten and I feel that a large puzzle may confuse them. Step three, here's your differentiation. Part one of step three is use each letter once. That means use each letter once in a row, so making the, the puzzle easier. Share letters occasionally in each row. That'll make your puzzle a little bit more difficult. And then share several letters. And this is the most amount of difficulty. So at least you have three levels of differentiation. For today, I'm going to use the easiest level. And then we'll move on to step four. Step four is which type of document are you going to output? The HTML is perfect if you're going to print directly from the browser. My only issue with that is that it is a little small, so I prefer to use the text because I like to cut and paste and paste it in my own Word document. And there, there you have a choice between lowercase letters or uppercase. Today I'm going to use uppercase letters and step five would be enter my words. So we know that there's red, yellow, blue, orange, green, and let's do purple. Since that's what they were learning. You could put violet or purple. My students are learning about purple this week. And we check the spelling, make sure all of the spelling is correct. Grammarly tells me so. Step six is check your puzzle, which is what we're doing. We're proofreading it. And now we're going to create the puzzle. This is what the puzzle looks like. This is the size of the puzzle. If we hit print, it comes out very small. There's lots of ads. So this is why I like to um, open up a Word document. Now I prepared my Word document ahead of time and you can too. I titled it Word Search and I saved it. So you can just make a Word document. And the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to copy and edit. You need to copy your puzzle go back to your word screen and your word search. And before you do that, you want to hit um, insert text box, draw text box. You're going to draw the text box as big as you need it. And then you're going to go to edit and paste. And there's your word search and you're going to hit the home button and now we're going to enlarge it. 36 usually fills it up nicely and then you're going to move your text box so that it 
fits back on the screen. The next thing you're going to do is you can either type the words in yourself since you know what they are, or you can draw another text box. Sometimes we run out of room. I didn't. So what I'm going to do is it's just easier to just do red, yellow, blue, green, orange, violet. So those are our six colors. We want to make them a little bit bigger. Let's see how big we can make them. Okay, so the students will be able to I'll put three on the top and three on the bottom so that the students will be able to cross them out. You just want to make sure that the students have enough room to work and that they're not, that the words aren't bunched up. Okay, so here's our puzzle. The only thing missing is a title. So color word search. Works. We just don't want it to be too big. I'm going to change that. I like that. I'm going to just blow it up just a little bit. I'm bold. I want to underline it. And here's our color word search that we created using the Discovery Education site. And I just want to show you a couple of other things. So this, this part, this Word document, this can be saved. It can be printed out. Um, you can actually see that the words are here. You can create an answer key. There's a lot you can do. So for, for this, we're just going to put it on the side for right now. And I want to show you some of the things that you can do with the Discovery Education site. So if you see that there's a, a mistake, all you have to do here is click the back button and it'll take you back to where you want to go. So let's just see if I, um, that's so funny. Let's just see if I wanted to change this to violet and hit create my puzzle. So now the word violet has been changed and my puzzle is here. And then if I need to make any adjustments like here, I see a mistake. Violet, back to saving this. So that's one thing that I saw that um, that needed to be changed. But if there are anything else, so I like this puzzle, but I want to go in and I want to make it more difficult for a different student. So I will go to share as many letters as possible. And I hit create my puzzle. So now I don't know if you can see the difference. I'll bring this one up. So the letters are different in each puzzle. They've now changed. So there's lots more E's. There are different types of repeating letters. It's a lot more difficult to find the words. The words don't seem to jump out as, as they did in the first puzzle. So you can see that you can make a differentiation, which is really great. Another differentiation you can make is the lowercase text. So you, in step four, you go back, you hit lowercase text, create my puzzle, and you can see that this also creates a, a differentiated view of the puzzle. There are, it's a lot more difficult for the younger ones to figure out these words with the different types of letters. So we don't make a lowercase a that way, but many of the typed letters do. So you can see where it can be a little bit confusing, where the Q will look different to them, which is why I prefer to make the uppercase. But if you want to differentiate and see if they can identify these different letters, this is, this is a really good site to do that. So this is the Discovery Puzzle Maker site. Here's our completed puzzle. And thanks for watching.